Hello, hello, Elise. I'm here to show you how to create flawless temporary tattoos every time with stick attack. Today, I'll be using the Custina from Topaz Stencils by Kerry Combs. These are amazing intricately cut stencils with amazing detail. I will also be using some stencils I designed myself like this versatile halftone dots and the vortex halftone hearts that will be on my website soon. I will be using my Iwata Eclipse Custom CS. First, we start with white as a base. Spray some sticky tack on the stencil. Orient your stencil where it would have the most impact. Then you start with the white base, making sure to apply an even coat. Set your stencil and then press down. That is not going anywhere. I start laying down Pro Air Hybrid Mixture of hot pink and red. I prefer custom mixing my colors as it adds more dimension to my style. And by applying blue, it will turn purple, giving you a more natural transition of colors. Plus, you're saving time by mixing the colors in the airbrush. Adding yellow to the mix allows me to transition from blue to green. As the paint is being used from the cup, it will turn yellow. So here I'm applying Pro Air Henna. This color is great for creating shadows without muddying up the image compared to black. I spray lightly on the chin and on the bottom part of the lips to give it more dimension. Then the reveal. Viola! That looks good. Then I come back with Pro Air Henna, push back the shadows on the jaw and the neck and a bit towards the background. Spray a bit of stick attack on the wiser tattoo pro stencils. Place it on the edge. Spray a bit of pink and red mixture. Then move the stencil, press down as you can see, a little stencil tack is enough to have your stencil be repositionable multiple times as I go through the design. Even backtracking by adding glue. Next, I used my halftone dots to add an illustrator motif using the red and blue mixture already in my airbrush. I make sure to clean out my gun by flushing out the existing color into my clean caps, which is also available on my website. I reset my stencil. And note that I did not respray the stencil. And that beauty of the sticky tack is I airbrush parts of the stencil to make the whole thing pop. Here I spray part of my Vortex Half Tone Heart Stencil. Pro tip. If your nozzle gets clogged, all you do is a shake the can, invert it, and then spray out. Viola, a clean nozzle. With white already in my airbrush, I spray just parts of the stencil, keeping in mind the flow of the design. Add a little bit of glitter. Now you have a flawless temporary tattoo design. Until next time, keep experimenting and let your creativity flow. Much love. Aloha, lovies.